Thanks, Footprinters. Chrissy here, looking like the wild woman of the West or whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. A few days ago, I said I would do a reading on whether or not those states that have cancelled their Republican primaries would reinstate them. So I thought, well, it might be an idea to have a look. So sorry about that lot. We'll just see if we can take it out a bit. There we go. That's a bit better. And so that's what I'm going to be doing, is asking the question, will those states, and I believe there's something like 11 of them, who have cancelled their Republican primary, reinstate them? I know the, Repu the Republican National Congress passed a resolution that they were only going to support Trump, but I have no idea that might be changing. So... Let's have a look. The Eight of Wands, lots of communication. And unlike wands and other packs, which are all heading in the one direction, these are heading in all different directions. So there are some that might not, I think, and there are some that will... But I, I, yeah, uh, I think some of them are definitely rethinking that. Um, but they're not all in harmony, heading in the straight same direction anymore, which was... Trump or no one, that, that's not happening anymore. They're all heading in different directions. So I think it's a good chance that they will. They might have to if Trump has to leave office for whatever reason. I'm going to do an overview. So the situation. They're starting to feel a bit embattled. And I think maybe they might be starting to hear from Republicans in those states because a lot of them are red states saying, no, we want a choice. We don't want to be stuck with only this one person. We want a choice. So maybe they're starting to feel embattled with their con constituents, Republican Party members and everything in that those states saying, no, this isn't good enough. You know, we don't want Trump. We want to be able to choose. So perhaps they're starting to feel a little bit embattled the Republican Party in these states that have cancelled their primaries. Hang on a moment. Okay, so current influences. Sorry, I'll just talk over it. Justice. This is the impeachment inquiry. All the stuff that's coming out, this is really influencing them on rethinking their decisions. What do they want to think about? The King of Pentacles. This is Trump. This is what they're thinking about Trump at the moment. This is what they want to think about. Trump, do they still throw their weight behind Trump or do they not? So they're thinking about it. Hang on a moment. Sorry, Whitby's just barking at some other dogs, so. Uh, what's happening in the near future? in these states uh, I'll tell you what I think that um, money money is at stake here it, it, their legacy uh, looking at their legacy and um, I think that, that their legacy is at stake here and I think that they could be at risk of losing donors in that party in those states where people won't donate to the state to the state's parties anymore, to the par in those states anymore, so they're at risk of doing that, and they're thinking about the legacy that they would leave if they did didn't hold primaries. They might not have a choice in the end, but this is assuming they still do have a choice. Um, hmm. What's underneath everything? What don't they want to think about? 
they're thinking about Trump, but they don't want to think about, he had basically had dominion. This is a card of dominion and it's all falling apart. And they had just planned to ride along on his coattails. And now that that basically it's, they're bringing this branch to them. The two birds are bringing a branch one to them. And I think this is the chance. This is, you know, they're saying it's not too late. You can reinstate the primaries. This is what this is saying. So, but they don't really think about it. They, they don't really want to think about it because I don't. I think I don't think they want to about, think about how much they may have stuffed up. Recent past, the full new journey, the impeachment inquiry in the recent past. It started taking the whole party on along on a new journey. And um, yeah, I, I just think that that's uh, the way it is, <laughs> you know. That this this new journey in the recent past is a big influence on them, as long as they're, along with the impeachment inquiry. So what happens next? Judgment. Now I, I said with with the nine of wands. They're being they're embattled. I think a lot of the membership in those states are saying we want a choice. You have to give us a choice, and I think that they're going to face judgment if they don't um, reinstate those things. So reinstate the primaries. I might do a yes no. I might just do another card on the end one on the what happens next so they're going to be facing some judgment and a will a change will of fortune this is a change coming i think there's a good chance that they're going to reinstate the primary election simply because they might have to you know they won't have any other choice but let's have a look we'll do some a yes no question will we and okay so Will these states reinstate the Republican primary? Will those states, will the Republican primary be reinstated? Will those cancelled Republican primaries be reinstated? Will those cancelled Republican primaries be reinstated? I'm sorry about the barking. The big dogs next door are riling up our little bub. And yeah. They're upside down, so it's just Queen of Wands is a yes. Queen of Cups is a yes. It's two yeses. And the wheel of fortune yeah that's a yes and this this echoes this card here yes that change it's it's going to happen it's they can't get away from it it's destined that they have to have um yes because of all the investigations the impeachment inquiry and everything that nancy pelosi has instigated and and yes because they're the Republicans in those states are really getting upset by all this, by having them cancelled. They were probably okay with it before, but now they're like, well, no, we, we want a choice. We want better than this. We want to have a better choice. So, so it looks like that those uh, states that cancelled their re Republican primaries could possibly well reinstate them. Um... So I'd keep an eye out on the news for that. Okay, now, what else can I read on? Let's see. Oh, the whole deck was upside down. So, uh, now we've got more whistleblowers coming out. So let's have a look and 
see if we can find out how many more whistleblowers there's going to be. We know there's at least three. One to do with taxes, um, one from the CIA, one is a Trump appointee. I think Trump made the mistake of thinking everyone he appointed would, would serve him, would do the job to serve him. And there are still some, yes, they, you know, the only way they may have got the job is because Trump appointed them. But once they were in their job, they decided that they were going to do the job. Uh, to serve the country, not to serve Trump. So, full credit to those people. But anyway, get another deck. We'll get the Royal Tarot deck here. Let's have a look and see how many more whistleblowers there might be. There's a couple of reversals in here. No, I'm come across this. Anyway, so let's ask the question. How many more whistleblowers will there be? How many more whistleblowers will there be? On top of the three that have already come out. So there's three acknowledged ones. How many more are there? How many more whistleblowers are there? How many more whistleblowers are there? We've got the six of wands and the six of pentacles. We've got a, quite a few, <laughs> quite a few reversals. I won't treat them as reversals for this. So this is six, six of wands, and they're going to be victorious. So let's have a look. And the Six of Pentacles, these are on the bottom. So, you know, so we'll take these two, take two off the bottom. Six more people are going to come out and talk. Ones of the cards of orators as well. And I think quite a few of them are going to have information on money. Just draw three more cards on that. Six more whistleblowers. Quite a few of them talking about money. So, um, four of cups, a knight of wands, and a nine of swords. Some of them really don't want to talk too much about it, but they're going to take an offer because, you know, they're like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? It's putting me in danger. It's putting my family in danger. And they might be reluctant to take an offer, but I think they will. It's passion investigation it's going to spark even more investigations new investigations the the knight of wands is dives into the new endeavors with passion and focus and so there's going to be new investigations highly focused on but the whistleblowers yes they're all going to go through quite an anxious time um it's a hard decision to make. Are they going to be in danger? Um, mm. This 
not mean literal death. It means change. This is interesting. I think someone, some of them are going to be offered. They need to change their mind, but I don't think they're going to take it. Um, maybe with some fret with it. And I think that plans are underway to do that. Um, they might get death threats if people find out who they are. But I've, I would never do a reading on who the whistleblowers are because I believe that whistleblowers do do at the anonymity and protection. So, but yeah, I think that general threats might be going through and offers are going to be waived you know if you're there if you're there we can fix it so that you can disappear and you and, and we can set you up for life just as long as you don't say anything um if you do say anything well you know and i do think there's going to be some death threats involved yeah the other thing i want to read on donald trump with his it's going to form you know this impeachment will form a civil war like chasm um retired colonel came on and said that talk is actually sedition so one more diff one more deck and i want to see if some people are going to be stupid enough to basically declare war on the United States on behalf of our president, you know? So, sorry about the light behind my head. Um, just noticed it. I'm a bit like, <laughs> anyway, uh, the last thing anybody wants is for um, violence to happen because of Donald Trump talking up, making seditious comments. And that is what he's doing. And he really ought to be careful because if he calls upon people to do things, actually calls upon them, he, that's against the law. doesn't matter who you are. Sedition is calling upon the people to rise up in arms and commit acts of violence against an established and democratically arrest, uh, um, elected government. So, and if not actually guilty of sedition, he skated very close several times, several times in the time I've been watching him very very close to that um, yeah so are there going to be acts of violence caused by Donald Trump egging people on to you know losing it over impeachment the whole trip handling of things going to cause violence. So let's have a look. I would sincerely hope not. I don't think there'll be an all-out war or anything, but, you know, people get hurt because of this man's rhetoric. People have been hurt before. So let's have a look. Two of Pentacles could go either way. Could go either way. It's a fine balance. It's a fine balance. Okay. So I think we, I'll do a, yeah, an overview on that very quick one, but Ace of Swords, new thoughts, new ideas, the truth coming out. Current influences, chickens coming home to roost. Is it going to cause some violence? Ten of Pentacles is going to leave a very nasty legacy if that happens. 
his plans come to fruition and he does plan to follow things up. The near future, look, things are going to come to an end, I think, before it gets that bad. What doesn't he want to think about? The star. The star can also be about vulnerability. He's in a very vulnerable position and he really doesn't want to think about that or acknowledge that. Recent past, Seven of Pentacles, people assessing and I think he's, the polls are showing that there's not, you know, he's going down in numbers. The assessment, he hasn't got enough to beat this. I don't think he's going to beat this. Ten of Cups, the GOP, this is what's going to happen next. The GOP are going to abandon him. So that's an overview of the situation. If this doesn't answer the question, will there be some skirmishes? We'll call it skirmishes. Will there be some skirmishes due to Trump's rhetoric? Hangman, Queen of Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. That's a uh, hang on a moment. Yeah, unfortunately, I think there's a good chance that there might be a few skirmishes. Um, so let's hope that's not the case. Uh, I'll just do one. I think there are going to be people out there who think that they are defending democracy and all that when all they're really doing is listening to the complaints and the whinging and the stirrings up of a person who really does not have any idea of what democracy means. Um, so I think there could be a few skirmishes, could be some minor injuries. Hopefully nobody will get seriously hurt. I think there's going to be a few, maybe some militias will come out of the woodwork. Um, I hope not, because they are, can be a serious problem, militias. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, Footprinters, I love you all very much, and I will see you at the next reading. Bye-bye.